Have you ever heard of the Mare C train from 1949? Chances are you have not. In fact, unless you're part of the World War II generation, very few people are aware of this small but fascinating piece of American history. It's an interesting story of humanity and gratitude. Stick around, we'd like to tell you about it. While visiting Arizona a few years back, we stumbled upon this unique piece of history. Located at the McCormick Stillman Railroad Park in Scottsdale, it's one of the boxcars from something called the Mayor C Train, or Gratitude Train. We had never heard of this, and it inspired us to do a little research and make plans to visit more of the boxcars. So what's the story behind these train cars? France has been America's oldest ally, going back to 1776 during our battle for independence against Great Britain. Fairly or unfairly, we Americans have a tendency to criticize the French, but there have been numerous times when the French have shown their thankfulness to America. In 1949, the people of France were especially grateful to America, saying, We did wish to send you remembrances which would last forever. They showed their gratitude by sending 49 boxcars to America filled with thank you gifts donated by the citizens of France, even though they had very little to give, having survived both the bombings and German occupation from World War II. Thus the Mare C train, otherwise known as the Train of Gratitude, came to be. The train was shipped from France to America with one boxcar delivered to each state of the Union at the time and one boxcar for the District of Columbia and the Territory of Hawaii to share. The train was loaded with dolls and dishes, historical documents, paintings, art, handmade silk wedding dresses, and battle-torn flags. It even included the flag that flew from the Eiffel Tower when General George S. Patton entered Paris in 1944. More than 52,000 gifts were on the train, and almost every gift came with a handwritten note in French that expressed the donor's gratitude. So why did the French want to thank us? For that story, we have to back up to 1947. The story starts after World War II as France, Italy, and the rest of Europe were struggling with hunger in their war-devastated countries. Eventually, the Marshall Plan would help to rebuild Europe, but the citizens needed help immediately for survival. In October 1947, Drew Pearson, a Washington newspaper columnist, syndicated in more than 700 newspapers, asked Americans to donate their food from their homes, gardens, kitchens, and fields. His plan included the organization of a train to travel from Los Angeles to New York City, picking up cars of relief supplies from citizens all across the nation. Five weeks later, the Friendship train left Los Angeles. While the train only passed through 11 states, all 48 states donated food and supplies by sending their own boxcars to the junction stops to add to the Friendship train. By the time the train reached the East Coast in early December, there were more than 700 boxcars full of food, evaporated milk, flour and sugar, dried peas and beans, packaged spaghetti and macaroni, soap and other relief supplies valued at $40 million, or $467 million in today's value. Keep in mind, this wasn't a government project. This was the humanitarian giving of American people. In all aspects of the train's travel, no money was ever spent. The food, transportation, loading and unloading by rail, truck, and ship were all donated. Every package had this label. All races and creeds make up the vast melting pot of America, and in a democratic and Christian spirit of goodwill toward men, we the American people have worked together to bring this food to your doorsteps hoping that it will tide you over until your own fields are again rich and abundant with crops. It was in gratitude for America's generosity in sending the Friendship Train that in turn France sent the Merci Train. Merci means thank you in French. The French sent their gifts in the standardized French military boxcars called 40 and 8. The cars got this name because one car could hold 40 men or 8 horses. American soldiers became familiar with these boxcars during both world wars thankful for the opportunity to ride to the battlefront versus walking. The Nazis, however, used 40 and 8 cars to move captured Allied troops to POW camps as well as persecuted civilians to concentration camps, loading as many as 100 people at a time into one car that was only big enough for 40 people. While every state received a car, unfortunately not all cars have survived to present day. Four cars have been lost or scrapped, 
those from Colorado, Massachusetts, Illinois, and Nebraska. And two cars were destroyed by fire, those from Connecticut and New Jersey. You can find information on the location of each state's train car at mayorctrain.org. 13 minutes west of Fort Wayne, Indiana is the National Veterans Memorial Shrine, which is home to Indiana's train car. We met Paul Allen, who was more than happy to show us the train car and tell us all about the history. Because of weather and neglect, this car is in the process of being refurbished to its 1949 condition, and their veterans organization is currently raising money for the $40,000 renovation. Two years later, 1949, the citizens of France reciprocated and sent 49 boxcars back this way, um, 48 states at the time. And how they did that, I don't know. <laughs> well, one, half of a boxcar went to Hawaii, because of Pearl Harbor, mm -hmm. and the other half to D.C. Mm -hmm. um, this is Indiana's. Kentucky's car is located at the Kentucky Railroad Museum in New Haven and has been fully restored. The museum was closed the day we visited. However, because the car is located in the open air pavilion, it can be viewed at any time. Michigan's car is located at the 40 and 8 Society in Lansing, Michigan. Over 6 million French citizens donated gifts that were included in the Mare C train. On reaching their destinations, the cars were greeted by dignitaries at special ceremonies. Their contents, after being displayed for a time, were distributed in a variety of ways. Many were sold at auction, with the proceeds going to charity, while some, especially significant items, went to public institutions. Most states have archives or museums housing some of the gifts. For example, take a trip to the Allen County Fort Wayne Historical Society and you'll have the opportunity to see a handmade peasant bonnet from southeastern France, a miniature working model of a spinning wheel, a pair of French wooden shoes, and several dolls. You can also see pictures of the Fort Wayne officials receiving the gifts from the boxcar. Artifacts from Kentucky's car are on display at the Kentucky Historical Society in Frankfort, Kentucky. At the Arizona Capitol Museum in Phoenix, you'll view documents donated by the French Resistance, several military medals, multiple pieces of fine pottery, paintings, dolls, and embroidered handkerchiefs. There is no knowledge of any remaining gifts from the Michigan train car. Have you visited your state's Mayor C train box car? Leave your comments below. If you enjoyed the video, please give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see our other adventures, subscribe to our channel.